oh, good. Hi, dudes. Glad you're there. Um, this is going to be quick because it's chuffy and freezing today. Yeah, it's Britain. It's winter, so of course it's cold. Anyway, um, reversing lights on the Disco 2. There wasn't enough, so I put some more on. And then I put some more on again, and now I'm thinking, yeah, there's a lot of current to run through the XYZ switch. Why don't I put a relay in? So I put a relay in. All right, it's only taken three days. Okay. I mean, it only took uh, a couple of hours to bug up uh, poor old Stinky. So it took three days to bug up um, jugs. Anyway, uh, I'll show you what I've done. Right, first of all, piggyback fuse. Path of least resistance, don't forget. It's plugged into the into the power socket or SIGI lighter, as they used to call them. So you get two fuses, one for going out and one for doing the actual job. So that's a piggyback fuse. A bit to the front of the wire goes all the way up there. All the way up there. Oh, it's just peeking out there. Look. Down there. All the way to the back. All the way down there and into the back bit. Where the beepers are. Right, so what we have, we have a relay, just a little square box, but relays are basically switches which can't be bothered to do the proper job, so they just pass it on to somebody else. That's what a relay does. There's a nice stinky little um, diagram. Right, so one or two is the signal wire, which goes to earth. The signal wire is a wire from the reversing lights, which is that one. In this particular instance, it's number... Yeah, you can't see from here. Number one. And then at number one. And of course you go straight through to Earth, which is number two. Which is that one there. Which you've also got Earth to the body just inside there. And the main power line, which is the red one which has come through, is this one. Which is also power for the... <coughs> also power... For the reversing lights, uh, sorry, yeah, reversing lights and reversing beepers and an extra takeoff for some in extra interior lights. We'll come back to that in a moment. All right, so that's the signal wire, that's reverse, and then you've got your power, which is that one, it's the, the big one. Now, in this particular case, this is a five pin. I've just used five and three. I can use the middle one, but there's not a lot of point because that's the one that's switched up now. I want the one that switches when I activate the reversing lights with the ignition on. Right. Uh, so that's obviously that goes to the reversing lights, which are all tacked into one junction. Uh, and that's it basically. That's that. So I'm just going to have got everything marked. Signal, um, power, and of course power to reversing lights. Right, I'm just going to wrap some tape on there which which says relay for reversing lights. Now, when I ordered some more reversing lights to go on the back, namely there, and there, when they came, they were cheap. Yeah, I know they're all cheap, but these are plastic. They look tacky, and I thought there's no going to last five seconds. However, what about if we run a wire from there to a switch? And somewhere in here, got some new interior lights. They run a wire. Across there, and perhaps have another one here, and then we will work on the switch. And of course, we'll leave the first position on on the key, but that's okay. I'm all right with that. So, so order them. They came. They were a wish. I thought, oh, yeah, I'll use them inside. That's the job you still yet to do. We've got the two outside ones. So now. 
We've got one for Uncle Arthur, one for reversing, one for Uncle Arthur, one for reversing, and the ordinary LEDs from the outside there. Right, so that's it, that's the little power. Uh, it's, it's taken three days of this, which is utterly ridiculous. Ridiculous. But in the end, it's all fun. Basically, it just really is a switch that just can't be bothered doing anything, so it, re it passes on the job to somebody, another switch, basically. Right, so that's that. Um, the beepers are a bit feeble, so that's why I've improved that earth. So that's a little white box in the background there, fastened to the body. Right, so I'm going to put some tape around that. Which I've put down somewhere. I was only using it 10 seconds ago, so that'll never see that again. Okay, that worked well, didn't it? That's just broken. So I'll put this on there. And I'll put some more tape around here. There's no need to have loads of wires. Right. That goes in there. Then we can shut the door on this job, go inside, get a cup of tea. No point in bringing the tea out here because it's cold in 10 seconds. Further 10 seconds later, it's covered in icebergs. Right, need my torch, I've found a book. It goes in there. It goes in there. Put my pen back. Right. Okay, oh, reversing light jobs finished. For the moment, anyway. Uh, dodgy shoulders, so I'm going to have to change hands. Right, well, that was fun, wasn't it? Yeah, so we basically put a power wire in from the second position on this key, so it goes off with the um, city lighters. I don't want it live all the time. I don't want a particularly large red wire coming from the front all the way to the back being permanently live. Not too keen on that. So, um, yeah, right, so there we go. We've got to put a relay in the circuit, so now the relay takes the, takes the load. And we're not putting a lot of power through the XYZ switch, which was the entire um, idea for this operation in the first place. Okay, right, so it's been great. Now let's go get warmed up, thawed out, and hey, keep smiling. Don't forget, keep smiling. Don't get lost or squashed. Um, thanks for watching. See you in a bit.